When the newly elected leadership of Nanso had an official handing over ceremony of all the office documents, the former Secretary General and the President were conspicuous in their absence. But among the more burning issues is the handing over of the organization's bank account. We have also asked him to accompany us to the respective banking institution to officially sign over the account details and information to the newly elected leadership. He has also refused to do this. But I need to mention that obviously this is an individual acting in his individual capacity and it does not deter the progress and uh, movement as a whole. Even the check that Nanso recently received from the Ministry of Education has not yet been deposited. As to what actions will be taken to ensure that the signatory powers are given to the right persons, Shim Tukeni noted that consultations are underway. What is required now of us is after consultation with the banking institution itself and former leaders and founders of the organization, it's just for the newly elected leadership to come up with their memorandum and decide who will the, the new signatories will be and it is for us then to go and uh, submit these documents to the respective banking institution. The organization is now split after Angala, the former president, accused the elected leadership of being illegal. Angala could not be reached for comment since his phone remained unanswered, not even replying to the text messages sent to him by NBC News. Timo Andreas, NBC News, Vinduk.